honestly i don't even know why this is a debate we already know who won but <laughs> anyways we do know that robbie was specifically going to land a point on eli but kenny basically distracted him which gave eli the advantage however a lot of people like to forget that eli himself was going to score a point on robbie anyway but the timer ran out and i know a lot of people like to bring up that at the beginning of the fight robbie was bullying eli therefore overall he should outscale eli but i think that's a little fallacious to say because one at the beginning of the fight he was only using purely Miyagi-Do but then once he combined both styles and had that pep talk with Daniel he was either relative or even outdoing Robbie in the finale. Both have instances where they one up each other but then we have Eli in the end just winning so in the end Eli should just outscale Robbie by a little bit. If I said Robbie was like an 8 or 9 then Eli would be a 9 or 10 but Eli was definitely the stronger fighter out of the two and his victory was well earned.